Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 27. Let's understand the linear combination of atomic orbital. See, as we know that atomic orbital is nothing but a wave function, psi, right? This is nothing but a Schrodinger wave equation. But this cannot be solved for system more than one electron. It can be solved only for system which has one electron. Correct? So the molecular orbital cannot be solved from Schrodinger equation. Why? Because it has more than one electron. So what should we do? To overcome this method, this LAO, this linear combination of atomic orbital has been adopted. This is the approximation method. So let's, let's assume there is a hydrogen molecule. It has two atoms, A and B and each hydrogen atom in the ground state has one electron in the 1s orbital. So the atomic orbital of these can be represented by psi and psi b function. So I have two hydrogen atoms and the orbitals only 1s, 1s, 1, 1s, 1. And they can be represented by psi and psi b function because this can psi and psi b function, two hydrogen atoms. Now, if I want to write molecular orbital, it is nothing but you either do a plus or minus, right? It's a constructive interface or destructive. So there are two possible options that is bonding with the plus, you add this to wave function, and anti bonding where you subtract this to wave because it's a wave. Anyway, orbital is nothing but a wave function, right? So when you add, a, when you have a wave, for example, in this case, right? It can either do a constructive or do a destructive interference. Correct? See, if you see, it reaches the maxima and then again it reaches almost the flat thing. Again, it reaches the maxima, black. So that, that's why because there's a constructive and destructive interference going on. Thus, you see the molecular orbital formed by addition of atomic orbital, the plus one is called bonding molecular orbital and the one formed by subtraction is called anti-bonding anti-bonding molecular orbital and this has a star mark here please note this has a star mark here this is anti-bonding this is bonding molecular orbital so the electron density in the bonding molecular orbital this is bonding mo and this is anti-bonding So the electron density is a bonding molecular orbital, if you see, is located between the nuclei. So this is my two nuclei and the electron is around this, right? So the repulsion between nuclei is very less and thus it is stable. If you see the anti-bonding molecular orbital, there is a node here actually, there is a node here, nodal plane. Most of the electron density is away from the nucleus. If you see this nucleus, both the electrons are away from the nucleus. And thus there is a high repulsion. High repulsion between the nucleus. Right? The, the repulsion between the nucleus is very high and thus is unstable. This is unstable, this is stable. Correct? Also, if you see the electron placed in the bonding orbitals tend to hold the nucleus together and stabilize the molecule. Thus the bonding molecular orbital, this, this one, has a lower energy than the anti bonding. Okay. In fact, this has lower energy than these two. For example, if this guy has energy 4, this has 4, this may have 2. Just a number. So, this has even lower energy than the atomic orbitals which they combine. And this in the atom and the electrons in this anti bonding uh, molecular orbital they destabilize the molecule because of mutual repulsion. Correct? So, therefore the energy increase, but the net energy is same. For example, in this case, if it was 4, 4, it becomes 4, it becomes 6. The net energy will remain same because law of conservation of energy, right? It does 4 to 4 to it is assumed. In that case, this becomes 6, this becomes 2. Just a number to understand, may, the number may not be correct. Okay? So, if you see this, I have my uh, psi a and psi b, two atomic orbital represent by a wave function. When they combine, 
they either go for bonding molecular orbital or the anti bonding molecular orbital right the bonding has a lower energy the anti bonding has higher energy correct let's understand the condition for the combination of atomic orbital so atomic orbital this uh, combination takes place only if the first condition is the atomic orbital must have same or nearly same energy if they don't have same energy for example i told right s and s only combine to form sigma s or sigma star s so the energy has to be comparable then only the 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 energy of the atomic orbital has to be comparable to form molecular orbital right and almost the atomic orbital which they are combining they should have same symmetry about the nuclear axis about the molecular axis they should have same symmetry overlap should be maximum the the more the overlap the better is the atomic orbital example if you see in this case i have two atoms now they come towards each other there is overlap here right so it can form a molecular orbital is s and s also can form a molecular orbital correct so this p this p can form a molecular orbital let me draw like this this s and this s can form a molecular orbital i'll write put dot this p and this p can form a molecular orbital and this one i'll put the cross mark this p and this p can also form a molecular orbital so these two will form sigma molecular orbital these two will also form sigma molecular orbital because head on uh overlap these guy the cross mark and with the tick mark they will form pi molecular orbital correct uh the concept is almost similar to the sigma and pi bond but here instead of bonds it's called orbital this is called sigma molecular orbital because it's, it is symmetrical across this uh, molecular sorry about molecular axis if you take this bond this um, atomic orbital when they form the molecular orbital that molecular orbital is symmetrical about its axis so they are called sigma sigma means symmetrical about molecular axis and pi they are not symmetrical about molecular axis so in this case if you see we saw that it can form uh, this one is a sigma and sigma star this also can have sigma and sigma star this can have pi and pi star and this can also have pi and pi star Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.